A battling 76 from James Foster and a punchy 82 from Adam Wheater put Essex on top of Kent at the halfway stage of their LV County Championship match on Ladies' Day in Canterbury. It didn't look as if Essex were going to be in any sort of position after they made a shocking start after resuming their first innings on 14 without loss in reply to Kent's 226 all out. Jake Mickelborough and Nick Charlie Shrek behind to the day's 11th ball. O.E. Shah came in, pulled Matt Coles for a beautifully timed six, but was then trapped in front by the same bowler for seven. Tom Wesley then edged Coles to Rob Key to go for ten, and Mark Patini was bowled by the informed Shrek with a peach of a delivery to leave Essex reeling on 23 for four. Shrek had taken nine wickets in last week's defeat to Derbyshire, and in spite of the efforts of him and Coles here, Kent were unable to put their opponents into any more significant trouble, with Ryan Tenderscarter leading the recovery. Well, he did until he edged Darren Stevens behind to go for 33 at 76 for 5. At this stage, Kent were looking good for a first innings lead. The reason they didn't get one was down to the sixth wicket partnership between Foster and Wheater, which added 126 runs in 34 overs. Wheater may be small in stature, but he can certainly give the ball an almighty clump and he was soon taking the attack back to the Kent bowlers with some sumptuous strokes. Foster, meanwhile, is a man who adapts his game to suit any situation. He had his moments of fortune against Azar Mahmood, but he soon got the better of the bowler as this partnership began to develop. Wheater was first to his 50, a superb effort given the state of the game when he came to the crease. He'd needed just 81 balls to get there and had struck eight lovely boundaries. Foster then played a cheeky shot off Stevens to go to his half century. He had been far more defence minded and required a patient 151 deliveries for his 50, that being his fifth four. Wheater now increased the tempo of his innings further still. He looked in fantastic form as he helped carry the total to 202 to trail by only 24. But then on 82 he played one shot too many and his reverse sweep cost him his wicket as he missed the ball in front of his stumps, Adam Riley with the very important wicket. Not that things calmed down too much after that with Graham Napier adding another 51 runs with Foster before the latter with 76 runs under his belt edged Stevens to key. The others followed quickly, Napier Nick Shrek behind on 43 at 269 for 8. Then, next ball, the former Knotts man had David Masters held at slip by Azar Mahmood. Everyone went up for an appeal for the hat-trick as Morris Chambers was struck on the pads. The ball, though, was just shading down the leg side. Still, Shrek got his man in his next over, Key with another catch at first slip, to give Shrek figures of 5 for 51, as Essex were all out for 273 for a first innings lead of 47. There were eight overs for Kent to see out to balance this game right back up, but it then went horribly wrong for them once Key was given out caught behind, a decision the bowler Napier seemed a little apologetic about. Key, though, had to go. A night watchman was brought in in the form of Riley, but he was then bowled by Chambers. And to the last ball of the day, Harbhajan Singh struck Sam Northeast on the pads right in front to put Essex right on top. In those few overs left, Kent had slipped to 9 for 3 and now have it all to do on day 3. They still trail by 38 runs but will still feel confident of turning this game around. They really need to do that to keep their promotion chase alive having come so, so close to winning their last two matches.